The A1 Sky Raider was the first model that I built as a young boy. Needless to say that this aircraft has a special place in my heart. Therefore, here is in a nutshell the history and story of the Douglas A-1 Sky Raider. During World War II, the United States Navy needed a carrier-based, single-seat, long-range, high-performance dive and torpedo bomber to replace its existing dive and torpedo bombers. Ed Heinemann of the Douglas Aircraft Company designed the first prototype, which was delivered for evaluation to the Navy on March 18, 1945. The first aircraft, designed as AD-1, was delivered to the Fleet Squadron VA-19A in December 1946. Too late for World War II but in time for Korea and Vietnam. The first Sky Raiders were powered by a 2,100 horsepower Wright R3350 duplex cyclone engine and featured a spacious cockpit for the pilot, who was seated in a high position, providing excellent visibility. The aircraft also had a retractable tailwheel landing gear and wings that folded for compact storage on aircraft carriers. If you like these kind of videos, you can help the channel by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell. If you have suggestions for subjects, leave a note in the comments. Equipped with 420mm cannons and capable of carrying 3,600 kilograms of bombs and rockets on 15 external hardpoints, the Sky Raider could dish out a lot of damage. Yet its greatest strength might have been its long wait of time especially compared to the jet fighters of its time. The Sky Raider was produced too late for use in World War II, but became the backbone of United States Navy aircraft carrier and United States Marine Corps strike aircraft sorties in the Korean War. 128 Sky Raiders were lost during that war, 101 in combat and 27 to operational causes. As American involvement in the Vietnam War began, Sky Raiders were still the medium attack aircraft in many carrier air wings, awaiting replacement by the A-6A intruder. The Sky Raiders' missions included close air support, transport, and special operations. However, Sky Raiders are probably best remembered for their support in search and rescue missions. Operating under the call sign Sandy, Sky Raiders, thanks to their long loiter time, would provide air cover over downed airmen until rescue helicopters could pick the downed airmen up. Proofing that Sky Raider pilots can joke, the pilots of VA-25 Squadron, who wanted to celebrate 6 million pounds of ordnance dropped in the ongoing Vietnam War, strapped an unusual bomb to a Sky Raider, a toilet. The toilet bomb was dropped by Commander Stoddard. We don't know of any Viet Cong casualties, but the toilet bomb nearly took out Stoddard's wingman as its flight characteristics were different from the traditional bombs dropped by Sky Raiders. The primary users of the Sky Raider were the Navy, Marine Corps, and Air Force. However, Sky Raiders served also with the Republic of Vietnam Air Force, the Royal Navy, and the French Air Force. After the Vietnam War, the A-1 Sky Raider continued to serve with the U.S. military, albeit in diminishing numbers. It was gradually replaced by more modern aircraft, like the A-7 Corsair and A-6A Intruder. Its close air support role in the Air Force was handed to the A-10 Thunderbolt. The Douglas A-1 Sky Raider, born from the post-World War II era, carved out an illustrious history as a versatile and effective aircraft. From the battlefields of Korea and Vietnam to its service with foreign operators, the Sky Raider's impact on military aviation is undeniable. Its legacy continues to inspire and inform the design of modern close air support aircraft, making the A-1 Sky Raider a true legend in the history of aviation. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please click the subscribe button. If you have suggestions for future videos, you can post them in the comments.